There was a news item from the wrestling world, Kevin, to shift gears from the important stuff, from the less important stuff of the world, I should say, than CM Punk possibly restructuring his deal with WWE. It looks like he's going to try one of those Bret Hart deals that Bret actually had to get out, of course, in the late mid to late 90s. The whole 10-year or 20-year thing that Vince offered Brett. It looks, if this reporting is correct, that CM Punk has proposed such a thing to WWE. Um, I like the fact that he actually, not only was he going to stay there for life, but he was actually taking Shawn Michaels' job. Is running NXT. <laughs> no, the piece I saw said that he he didn't say that. I don't think. Right? Wasn't that the reporter? Let let me get the actual text here, so we don't. Basically, he, or here's a quote from the guy at Wrestling Purists with a four letter name. Um, basically, he wants to work out. He wants to get paid, and then he wants, when it's time to slow it down, to slow it down and just run NXT. So this is from someone else's mouth. I don't have a quote from Phil, right. but this is a reporter well, saying I, I, that I'm yes, not say, I'm not saying I'm not saying that Phil that said he thinks it. it's time for Sean to do a Biden. But no, I just I just found it amusing. Would he be good in that role? You think? He's a huge star. There's no doubt about that. He's a draw. But before I give him like an extra three years of fucking huge money, I think maybe I, I, I get a year out of him be, and see if he d- doesn't break down. I'm serious. I mean, before pulling out the 10-year contract? He's, he, yeah. He's, it's, I don't know if he has six years left. I, I, would, I said 10 years, but I think the term they attributed to him was forever. He'd like to be here forever. Then... Now, forever. Correct. I believe that's the opening of the WWE Raw. Let me ask you a question. Would you have put your money on, going back, when you were with riding with Sean, okay? It's the late 90s, mid-90s, and 95, 96, you're riding with Sean. Would you have pegged him for a developmental type job? Would he have been the guy to pick. Well, Sean, when he got injured, ran a wrestling school. He had his own wrestling school. In Houston? Not Houston. In San Antonio. Uh, San Antonio. But and, uh, turned from... out, and turned out some talent that that were, were in the WWE. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. There was no doubt that he has an absolute... Him and Hunter both have just... They love it. It's what they wanted. That's what they both wanted to be. They wanted to be pro wrestlers. Did Sean have the temperament to teach back then, though? I know he's a maybe a different guy now, but he didn't need. He did, he still had so much. He still had Helen to sell with Taker to do, and he just didn't know it. He had so much un, unfinished business and unfinished work to do in the ring. I think him finding Christ and having a a, a, a woman that fucking him and Rebecca are a, a great team, and. They, he's got two two wonderful kids. It's just he's at, he had to get at peace with himself and with his life and everything else before he could go out and and do his next piece of work. Which you know, tr- Paul had done such a, a magnificent job of creating, like, having the eye creating having the vision to continue the creation of nxt and then when it was time when paul was taking more responsibility from the main roster to have the the foresight to to put sean in that position you know but they were down there together running it together it's just that you know it was it was a it was a a pretty flawless uh transaction um no, it's just Sean's Sean's commitment to his Christianity. Does it? I don't want to say get in the way, but is the is it ever? Is it something ever that you have to navigate around? Does it come no. up? Can you still talk about the old days and fucked up shit you did? Yeah. And 
can he go nitty gritty with you when he talks to you he's now? Not gonna, he's not probably gonna. He's not gonna curse. Okay, is that a sin? Huh? Is that a sin? I cursing? think it's a. I think it's a preference. Okay. All right. I've always wondered who I figured in that car of five guys that I was cussing for somebody, and it was it ended up being Sean. <laughs> You did I, enough for yeah. I drop enough fucking f bombs in a day to did the first um, the first words out of my mouth most mornings when my phone goes off is oh fuck yeah May, okay so maybe not you but what about Scott in in his Scott tougher would have times been great. did Sean no, no I meant did Sean offer as a path for Scott salvation through Christ. Scott was saved. Scott said grace before every meal. Really? Was that from his upbringing? I know he had like a military yeah. family. His mother's very religious. Yeah. We had, when Scott passed, we had a religious ceremony. The reason I ask is because as an outsider in the all the click stories I know and all the click stuff, it's a card that when you look at the hand stands out that following a doctrine like that and i know it was later in, in life sean went to it but i just wondered if that permeates the clickness of y'all sometimes yeah no i the three of us have all grown and we've all gone our, but i think that it's I think it's the fact that we always had each other's backs and nobody ever didn't. I don't know. I guess that's a, a Christian mentality, right? Standing by your brother, helping your brother. and so but you, I, All of you were practically on the pulpit in 95. You just didn't know it. But I was brought up. My father was would, took us to church every Sunday. And I'm sure that I would have been brought up really religious had it not been for the sake that you know of the fact that my father died, my mom that next Sunday came up and my mom said, "There's take no your shoes God. Off. <laughs> yeah, there's no God because nobody, uh, no God on this earth would take a husband away from these three young kids." Mm. And that's I still got my church on Sunday from David and Goliath, Davy and Goliath, the animated you claymation. David, Davy and Goliath. Remember that? I do. Gee, Davy. Sunday mornings. It was a claymation or yeah, a stop sure. animation? I, was, was I think it was, it was, yeah, but it was definitely classic fucking shit, man. Amazing. It, in, in, a, in a fit of insanity, Tony Khan talked about uh, an AEW and WWE super show that he'd be open to. He'd be open to that, by the way. 